I mean, a day off on a boat on the ocean. This is what it's all about. What am I hoping for? Honestly, I'm on a boat, so everything's great. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Sarah Hallman and Chef Paul Grossi have never met until today, but they both love fishing. Grossi is head chef at Redfish Restaurant, where diners eat atop the Cape, overlooking the bay and sea stacks of Port Orford, a six-hour drive south of Portland. It's the finest dining with all sustainably caught seafood on the southern Oregon coast, an area you may not be familiar with. But put this spot on your road trip itinerary. Port Orford juts out in the Pacific, the farthest of any point in the state. That means it gets a clash of ocean tides and weather, making for good fishing for these two. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> but the way fishing boats get in and out of the water here is something else. hoisted down onto the ocean by crane using four ropes at each corner. And up here is a good spot. Port Orford is one of only six of these dolly ports in the whole world to do it this way. So my fishing is usually done by the bank off the jetty and everything, so I'm excited to get out here and see what, you know, this has to offer. No, uh, I really want a nice small rockfish. We're going to pair it with a sauce made out of seaweed, and that's a seaweed that we're going to use fresh and that actually is in the waters here. South Coast Tours got us all set up. They have the rods and fishing gear for any kind of adventure. I always like to keep my thumb on here. And boy, did it happen quick. How deep are we, Dave? 49. 49? Oh, okay, that's not too bad. I mean, it's the way, no, that's a fish. Oh, yeah. it's it. There you go. Black rock. That was easy. That was there great. First fish. There you go. That works. It's whale watching season, and if reeling in plenty of fish doesn't cap off your day. Oh, I see it. Ah! <laughs> Dang, that's awesome. Spotting two gray whales feeding in the bay certainly will. So let's go ahead and dry this bad boy, which might be hard because it's still moving. <laughs> Just a little bit. That's fresh though. I think rockfish is very versatile. The other great thing about rockfish is that it's incredibly sustainable. There's so much rockfish in the ocean, especially off the Oregon coast. This is a mix of cornmeal, cornstarch, and flour. So we've got some oil heating up here. Just lightly drop it in there. And because our fish is so big, it doesn't fit in the pan. <laughs> okay, plating time. Let's do this. When Chef Paul and I were talking about this dish, we really wanted to make it about the actual rockfish. We got some fresh dulse seaweed. We simmered it together with soy sauce, mirin, rice wine vinegar, a little bit of sugar, and then buzzed it up in the blender. So now we have this really delicious, what I like to call seaweed jam. A little bit sweet, a little bit salty, it's so beautiful. So we've got some cornmeal crusted pan fried rockfish with dulse seaweed jam and an assortment of seasonal pickles and herbs. 